What are we making today? Okay, so you like ribs, right? Everybody oh, like ribs. gosh. Okay, so these are, these are short ribs, which means it's just a short rib, thick and short, with the bone, and we're gonna uh, glaze it with a pomegranate, great pomegranate cilantro garlic star in these glazes. Do, do I have the best guest ever? Yeah. Well, I just do. So you're gonna help me. Okay, okay. I'd love to. I don't so, know how to do this. Okay, so we have seared these, these beautiful pieces of short rib in this pan, and we've left some of the fat. And okay. this is the beauty, this is the beauty of, of cooking is right there. That's what you need. I mean, fat, everybody says fat is bad. A lot of fat is bad, but it has flavor. That's the flavor. That's the flavor, right? And you know, this is almost like the Trinity here we got. We got That's right. Trinity. So you want to help me add this? Sure. To this, we're just going to add some carrots. Okay. Some onions. Some celery. Okay. Do you like to cook? I love to cook. Yeah, I can tell. I love it. I, like to, I can tell you like to cook because the way he talks about food. Oh, yeah, you no. You can always tell someone who likes food by the way he talks about it. That's all it. right, so we're going to add some coriander. You can just put that all in. Okay. Some. That's one of those things that I have in my spice rack. I don't know what it does. It's great. I just put it in to make people think, I'm adding some coriander now. Don't worry about well, it. Well, it's like, you know, you know, cilantro, this is the C. So the cilantro. Oh, is that right? right? Yeah. Okay. Some bay leaf. Okay. This is another thing. This doesn't do anything. This just makes you look fancy. Oh, no, no. It's great flavor. Star anise. Star anise. Yes, ginger. I, I've never held one of these. It's a great name, star anise, right? Oh. Sounds like is that a real thing or did you just find it on the thing. floor? No, it's a real thing. Okay. It's not a cockroach. No. <laughs> it's not big enough. It's not big enough. That's big enough that's to be big a costume. Exactly. That's a cockroach. New York one. That's a New York that's one. It. Okay. And what are these? Uh, thyme. Thyme. Some ginger. Ginger. All okay. of that? All of that. Woo. Okay, that's so I'm going to stir that around. Okay. You want know, to get these nice and caramelized, right? Just get some love, get it and soften, right? And just then, in the fat of the ribs. This is all this is. Okay. But can you smell that? Anybody that smell smells so good. So just this, you just put it in there now. Well, what's now, interesting is, is it's just got a few ingredients that I never would have thought of, and it smells so much more complex than anything I make. So it's, well, I'm excited to learn this at home. Learn. Okay, yeah. so once it gets softened, I want you to add, uh, first of all, we're going to add the ribs back in. Now okay. we're going to nestle them in here. So you would wait until that... Nice and soft. Okay. Yeah. We're going to nestle them in, all right? Now, you know they're good if they're nestled. They're nestled, <laughs> all right? I never nestle my ribs. Now, Everybody, I, you know what this is? This is a Dutch oven, right? Everybody yes. have, if you don't have one of these, get one. They're a little bit more expensive. It's cast it's worth iron. worth it, though. It's worth it. You have it forever. You'll pass this down to your kids. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to put some orange juice, okay. red wine, this and is, chicken stock. Okay, this is chicken stock. Orange juice, red wine. Red wine. It, it's just, it doesn't seem so easy. It, this I'm going to do this tonight. <laughs> okay, so now you, you cover this. Okay. And put it in the oven at 275 degrees. 275, low, okay. for about four or five hours until it completely... Just fall, oh. falls off the ribs. And what do you get? You get a beautiful looking plate that I'm gonna finish here. This is the sauce. Now the sauce here is all of this liquid after four hours strained and we add the magic pomegranate juice. Ooh. Okay. And pomegranate juice, every nose is very good for you. It's sure. a natural, you know. It's antioxidants. A, it's, oh, it's the number one antioxidant. You know, it's like the big rage. Because I got around, a lot of oxidants. You got a lot of oxidants. <laughs> well, I know what an up, oxidant you is. You grew up in a place that has a lot of, you know, New Orleans is a place with yeah. a lot of oxidants, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, it has a lot of oxidants. Okay, so. It's, it's no oxidant that you use it in your food. <laughs> so we reduced it all the way. We're gonna get this beautiful glaze, and then we talked oh. a little carrot salad. And you're gonna take a bite of this. Are you oh, ready? Oh boy! All right. So this is the glaze. Come on, then. go look right in. Look at that! And just... I topped it with something that looks so healthy, right? Because... Yeah. Look. Oh, now, look you at, can have rice with it, but I'm telling you, look, y'all. Look at that. Look at those yeah. ribs. Look at that. Holy oh, moly! Get a little sauce. Then make sure it's mm. really sauce. It's incredible. It's so good, Jeffrey. You're the man. Thank you very much. Thanks for having man. me on. Un well, it's Thank just you. So it's soft, right? It's delicious. No, oh, and it's got a lot of stuff going on. Do not forget to, uh, to, to catch Cooks vs. Cons on Food Network Wednesdays, 9, 8 Central. For the full recipe, and I'm going to have to remind myself, too, go to <laughs> harrytv.com. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you.